welcome to Fusion 360 Electronics Quick Tip. Today, you'll learn how to map step files to your footprints using the Fusion 360 Library Editor. As you can see, I have the symbol and I have the footprint already created, but I do not have a 3D model assigned to it. From the content menu, I'll click on footprint. I'll see a list of all the footprints that I have. In this case, I only have one. I'll right click it and from the context menu, I'll select the option create package from footprint. This brings me to the package editor. Those dotted lines that you see there are representing the footprint, the actual 2D footprint. Now I'm going to go ahead and expose the data panel because that's where I have the step model that I had uploaded earlier, which I actually was able to acquire from a distributor of components. I'll right click the step file and select the option insert into current design. Now that I have it inserted, I'll just use the arrows to kind of line it up correctly. Now that the step file has been aligned, I'll go ahead and click OK to stop the process. And from the top toolbar, I'll select finish. I'm going to go ahead and acknowledge that I want to add this package to my library. Now, we'll return to the device editor. Let's go ahead and click on save. As we always recommend, go ahead and add a description. As you can see, our thumbnail now appeared. Now, just to make sure that we map this out correctly, I'm going to create a brand new electronic design and add two of these coax connectors to our schematic. Now I'll go ahead and push to the 2D PCB. Components will always appear on the left hand side of a default board outline, which is approximately four by three inches. I'll left click and drag just to resize this board outline. I'll click and I'll left click and drag the components to put them inside of the board outline. I'm gonna place, um, I'll place them opposite of each other. Now I'm going to go ahead and push to the 3D PCB. That way we could see if the actual mapping worked. As you could see, the 3D models actually do show up on our board. Thank you for joining us. All this and more with Fusion 360.